What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit video. In this video we'll be covering how to bold headers in schedules. So this can apply to any schedule, any type of header that you have. And so what is a header? A header, I just have a basic door schedule here. A header is what's going to fall above any of the, the different cells that you have as data. So in this case I have level set as a header and we can see that if I go into my sorting and I have sort by level and I've had chosen that as a header I, that is checked I've also added a blank line just so it reads a little better on the sheets and I'm itemizing every instance so we can see all the doors at this point let's go look at it on the sheet I've got the sheet here it's on a sheet it's kind of a mess because it's a lot of doors but it's okay if I zoom in here I can see that all of this type is it's not bolded it kind of reads the same but we'd like some of these things to show up bold in this case we probably want these different elements and specifically the header in this case to actually be bold so that it reads a little better and it's a little more easier to understand that everything under here is level one and so you get to this point level two that's fine now at this point how do we do that we can go back into the schedule and if i go to formatting actually appearance I can see over here that if I come down to text, I can see show title, show headers, great. We want that, but title text is scheduled default. Header text also scheduled default, and the same for body text. So what is this? Well, if I look at the other options, I can see it looks like text. I've got a quarter inch aerial and three, three thirty seconds aerial and a scheduled default. Where are those coming from and what are they? Well, it's actually just text. So we can manipulate these options or add additional options if we go and make our own text. So let's go do that on the sheet. You can do this anywhere in Revit that's a 2D view. And as soon as I hit, hit text, the different properties and the different types I have here are exactly the same thing that we saw in the schedule. So let's click on a quarter inch aerial, that's fine. Actually, let's go see what the schedule default is, that'll help. For sure if I click on the type properties I can see that it's actually an eighth okay great the tab size now that none of that really matters I was most curious about the text size all right and the colors black obviously that's fine so what do we want to do now well, let's take schedule default and start typing and I'm gonna type bold just so we can see this and I'm going to edit this type and I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna call this one eighth inch aerial because it's an aerial and I'm gonna call this bold all right and I'm going to check bold it's that simple so at this point I'll hit OK and that is bold text great what do we do now well let's go back into the door schedule and go to appearance and now we can go to title text and we see we have 1 8 inch aerial bold which we just made now let's choose that and I'm actually gonna choose this for both the title and the header text and at this point I'll hit OK and we can see that even in the schedule view my title and header text here is now bold that's perfect well this we will never see this header show up as bold or any different in this view Oh, but you will on the sheet so let's look at the sheet and what do we see go back here well we can see that we've got the title and these headers that are bold but we don't have anything else specifically we're looking for the headers well so why not why do we not have that let's go back to the schedule one more time appearance and body text well the body text is currently set to default now you might be saying, well, we that level one in this case it's a header because I, clearly it's level. I set level and I made it a header right there. Well, this is kind of the weird, convoluted part of Revit. One of the parts. <laughs> what is it? What's happening here? Well, the reality is, let's say I no longer make level a header and I go back and I show the field. I had it hidden before. Well what are we looking at now I'm gonna go back to appearance it actually turns out that level in this case 
is body text and level is body text because it's just it is a part of the schedule you can see it in the fields it is pure body text and why does the header not apply when I check header well unfortunately the header text in the appearance options of a schedule only applies to the headers of the schedule the schedule itself in this case my level mark type height and width unfortunately this is not applied to level or any other field here so what, what do I do at this point I'm going to change my body text also to Arial bold I'll change this to bold and let's see what happens I'll hit OK in this case everything is bolded now and if I go back to my view on my sheet everything is bolded and now this is ridiculous what do I want to do now well I don't want first of all I don't want level I want, we want to make level a header again I'll make that level a header I'll change that to a hidden field I'll hit OK and if, again going back to the sheet everything is all bolded and I don't want to see that well here's the workaround and this is the big kicker and this is how we can get our level headers or headers just whatever it is our general headers of schedules to show up as bold or to show up as any different kind of text at this point what I need to do is override some of the the cells in this case I'm gonna override every cell and I can select every cell by swiping across all the headers and I know I've selected every cell because I have every column selected and every cell and every column selected at this point what do I do I'm gonna go to font and I'm gonna uncheck bold and I'm gonna hit OK and so every cell is no longer bold and you might think well okay clearly that didn't work with level one and the, or the header in this case but if I go back to my sheet you can see that worked level one is now bold that's perfect that's exactly what we want all the body text and everything below it is no longer bold but we've actually lost the the, the actual main headers as being bold because they're, long, they're no longer bold we just need to unoverride I guess <laughs> so if I go back instead of selecting every single column I can just select the headers the main headers go to font and then bold those up again and there we go everything is exactly how we want it it's a little more readable now I've got door schedule and maybe I want to make the title bigger I can change this to one fourth maybe I want to change the title to a quarter inch I can change it to a quarter inch there the title will increase title increase there it's not bolded because I don't have a quarter inch bold made so it's easy enough to go make that if I want to but in any case this is significantly easier to read because my levels and or headers in this case are all bolded I can clearly see where things start and begin different level starts very easy to read I would do the same thing with a sheet index to show different disciplines again this can go as far as you want to take it because at this point everything that we see in the appearance under text is all based on text that I have in my project so maybe you want something that's underlined or italicized or red or a different color anything like that you can apply that to your schedule in any different fashion that you want and to manipulate the bold one last thing I will cover is just the summation of how to do this well the really quick way of doing this is that we need to apply bold to everything in the schedule and we need to simply override the body to unbold and then we'll just go back and we will rebold the headers it's very it's really that simple and it's something that I like to do with for most if not all of my schedules that I that end up on sheets just for visibility purposes easier to read easier to understand so why not go ahead and do it I would highly recommend that you do that just because that reason alone that's gonna do it for this video if you like this video if you learned something please demolish that like button it really helps also change the phasing of that subscribe button to existing that also helps I sure hope you enjoyed this video Hope to see you in the next one, and thanks for watching.